Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix PlayStation app connection to server timed out. So it's really easy and simple guys. So first things first, you want to go ahead and check the PSN status. So you want to visit the PlayStation Network status page to see if there are any reported server issues or maintenance that's currently happening. If there's an outage, let me show you how to do this really quickly. So just come to your Google browser, search PlayStation Network status, click on the first link right here. And then you need to select the country or region to check the status. I'm going to do United States English and let's see if the status. Let's see if everything is working perfectly fine. What you can do is also change other locations as well. For example, let's see in UK, everything is working perfectly fine. So once you've done that, you've confirmed that you can go ahead and restart your console and router. So just turn off your PlayStation router completely. And you just want to wait for a few seconds, turn it back on. And then this should fix your issue. Usually if this still doesn't work, what you can do is you can go ahead and test your internet connection. So go to your PlayStation settings. Okay. And then from the menu right here, the list of options, you navigate to network and then go ahead and click on test internet connection to basically verify your connection stability. Okay. What you can also do is you can check your network settings. If you are using a wired connection uh, and if it's possible, you can try connecting your you know, PlayStation directly to your router using an Ethernet cable. This will give you a more stable connection. And if you're using a Wi-Fi network, you want to ensure that your Wi-Fi network is selected correctly and the signal strength is good. You can also try to manually set your DNS service to a public DNS like the Google DNS. So this is the uh, configuration you must do in the settings. And you can also go ahead and check your firewall settings in your router and PlayStation to ensure that not actually blocking any necessary connections to the PlayStation network. So you go ahead and do that. And what you can do is if the issue still persists, you just need to connect to your internet service provider representative, reach out to them and see if there's any network problems on their end. Really that easy and simple guys. So I hope this guide provided value to you. And if it did, consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing to frequently asked questions and I'll see you guys in the next one.